Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here today. I have a quick video I want to do for you here on this brand new Acer laptop. This is a 17.3 inch Acer Aspire 5 laptop. The exact model is, it's an A517-52. It's got a Core i7 1165G7 quad core CPU. Comes with four gigabytes of DDR4 on board and there's one slot and they put the uh, 16 gig stick in there so it's got 20 gigabytes of DDR4 2666 memory. Uh, it's got a one terabyte NVMe M.2 drive. I believe it's a Kingston drive. It's got Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0. Like I said, full HD 17.3 inch display. It's got a backlit keyboard. It's got the Intel Iris XE graphics on it. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. Uh, the gentleman wants more storage space. These come with a two and a half inch bay. The caddy and the cable are inside the laptop already. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put in a brand new Samsung Evo 870 Evo, one terabyte SATA SSD. Uh, not a mechanical hard drive. You could put a mechanical hard drive in there. I don't really recommend it, but you can. Solid state drives are very affordable these days. So. He's going to end up with two terabytes of storage. So I'm just going to shut it down real quick and show you how to open it up and pop that in there. Pretty snappy computer, actually. You know, it's just, it's, it's identical to the 15.6 inch Aspire 5s, other than it's a little bigger. Number pad on the side is a little bit bigger, <laughs> a little more room over there. Um, but the layout, and everything else is exactly the same pretty much. So it's all shut down. It does have a fingerprint sensor on the touchpad here as well. But over on this side, you have a USB 2.0 port, or um, yeah, 2.0, and it's got a headphone jack. And over here, you got all the usual stuff, just like on the 15 inch models. You got your power cord, ethernet port, HDMI, a couple of USB high-speed ports, USB-A, it's got a USB-C port as well. So to open these up, all you have to do is remove all these screws. There's a, there's a bunch of them. They're all exactly the same. You can see here on my little magnetic board. And they come out pretty easy with a number zero um, or a number one magnetic tip um, little screwdriver. So I'm, I recommend using magnetic so you can pull them up out of the little holes. They're a lot, a lot easier. Now these sometimes can be a little stubborn opening because they're in there pretty tight. I don't think you're going to get it with a with a credit card or your library card or whatever, you're gonna probably need something like this, these triangle spudger tools, they work great. Super cheap to buy online. Um, I usually start in the corner over here. Oh, you probably can't see that, sorry. Right over here in the corner somewhere, usually is a good place to start, and then I push it back. Get it kind of broke loose there, you can see it lifted up a little bit. And sometimes in the front they come off hard, sometimes they don't. Put a little gentle upward pressure on it. Oh, that, one, that one's lifting right up. Don't want to tug too hard. You just want it to come off pretty easy. Just like that. If you can see on the inside here, there's a lot of kind of open space. Um, extremely tiny little motherboard over here, as you can see. Here's the got one M.2 slot. Here's the one empty slot for RAM, but it said there is. If you took that 16 gig out, you'd still have four gigabytes of DDR4. So they put a 16 in there. It's a data. It's 1.2 volt standard laptop memory. And of course, you got your battery. You got your Wi-Fi 6 card right over here. And here's our two and a half inch bay. Here's the, the caddy and the cable right here already connected to the motherboard, which I kind of like. So I'm just going to Remove a couple things here. Get rid of Mr. Tape. Just going to pop in the two and a half inch drive and give them more storage. Get into Windows and I'll initialize that real quick. Now I'm going to jump down to a number zero, zero, zero. Take out these four mounting screws in the corners here. Get the caddy out. I don't do too many of the 17 inch. I've only done a few of these. Spire 5 17 inch models, everybody's going with the 15.6, but this person wanted the bigger, biggest screen as he could get basically. 
come on. And they give you right in the box with the laptop a little bag of screws to mount the hard drive or the you know the drive into the caddy. I'll use the ones that came in the box. I got like five million six hundred and eighty-seven thousand of them laying around here in the shop. Um, so now we just can lift this out of here carefully. I still have the battery connected. I'm sorry guys, I just do this all the time. I'm very careful, but here's the battery. If you want to unplug it, just pull it back. Just pull it back. I'll show you. I'm going to use my little nylon spudger tool here to get a hold of it. Just like that. It just pops out of the socket, just like that. But I, I always say, if you're going to unhook the battery, you've got to take that little extra step, carefully open it, and hold in your power button a bunch of times. Just hold it down. I'm going to drain any leftover power that's floating around in the circuits in there, the capacitors and all that fun stuff. So in case you do drop a screw or something or a tool on your motherboard, you're not going to break it. That would be that would be a bad day. So yeah, let's just throw that drive into the caddy here. It's going to go in with the Samsung label facing right up, just like that. Yeah, let me open these screws. You can see this is a very very easy little upgrade to get more storage. You can also bump up the, go up to like a two terabyte NVMe SSD over here. That's a Kingston. Those factory ones they use, they're not the, they're not the fastest drives in the world, so to speak. Oop, I want to go back to number one here. It is Gen 3 still. It's not Gen 4 PCI Express on these. Gen 4 starting to show up more and more in a lot of laptops that I deal with, especially the gaming gaming laptops. Like I said there's just four screws holding this drive in the caddy here. As you can see, it's not rocket science. Just take your time, make sure you're protected from static electricity before you get inside. I guess I should have said that from the get-go, but common sense. And don't touch anything you don't have to. Best advice I can give anybody when you're here working on these things. Let's put that glue on there, it's annoying. Let's get that cable, oh, the way that cable's on there, I guess that'll be all right. Um, so yeah, we got the drive back in there, put the four screws back in. And I can hear we still got a ton of snow out here and it sounds like somebody's got a leaf blower going back back in my building here. <laughs> Again, you could put a you could put a four terabyte drive or SSD in here if you wanted to guys. Nowadays on the new modern computers, Windows 11, the BIOSes aren't going to have any trouble supporting or seeing that. <clears throat> so we got that back in there. There's solid state there. SATA SSD. Here's our NVMe SSD. Let's hook the battery back up real quick. But let's just be very careful. Once you hook it up, you don't do anything dumb. I'll flip it around here. It goes in all the way. Here's another look from that angle. So yeah, pretty straightforward. A little simple upgrade. Let's pop the bottom on and boot it up. I'm not going to put all the screws back in. I never do until I know I'm done in there, so to speak. Don't squeeze too hard on the lid when you're squeezing it back together. You don't want to damage your screen on the back side of your cover here. Very careful. And you're all snapping back into place, just just nice. All right, let's open it up. So you guys check out more of my videos on my 
channel page there. I got lots of videos on installing SSDs, all different types and sizes, many different types of laptops. So it boots right up. Now the next thing is we're going to go over to the start button here and right click on it. I'm just going to click on disk management. And there's our drive popping up right there. We'll, you know, they want us to initialize it, so I'll hit OK. Then it shows here, I'll make this bigger. Shows up right down here. It's unallocated, so you could put partitions on this if you wanted to, but he doesn't want me to do that, so he's just going to have a one terabyte storage drive. He says something about music or karaoke or something. I don't know, but it is an i7. It does got some kick to it, so I'm going to choose new simple volume. Basically, I'm going to just, I'm going to get all the defaults here. You can right here, volume label, you can type something in here, name the, you know, give it a new label besides new volume, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it and hit next and hit finish. It's going to do a quick format. Boom, it popped up over there in the corner. So let's just open up this PC. So there. There's our new one terabyte SATA SSD. That's one terabyte, terabyte NVMe drive. Super quick little upgrade. Guys, I hope you found that interesting. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the little bell and the like button. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.